And Tom McKee continue this unbelievable winning streak? Well, we do have more shows. See exactly how much dough Tom totals with Tic Tac and Tom on Game Show Network. He is the current champion on Tic Tac Doe, and she is the challenger. They are in the middle of their fourth game in a head-on competition. The stake will be more than $8,000. In a moment, we can find out who wins it as... From Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's our host, Wee Martindale. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, as Bob pointed out, this is one of the real tight matches we've seen on Tic-Tac-Toe in some time. It's exciting, and I know you're going to love it. So let's get started right now. Here is our current champion. Our current champion, whose winnings total in cash and prizes, $95,850, is a Navy pilot who enjoys horses and weightlifting. Meet Tom McKee. His opponent is presently working as a waitress, but hopes to soon begin a career as a metaphysical healer. Meet Lila Abu Hamed. Just one quick question: How you feeling? Fine. Little, <laughs> real good. little on the nervous side, probably, but good. that's to be expected. Lila, welcome back. This gentleman with $95,850 in cash and merchandise, a lot of cash, I think over $65,000 in cash. How about you? You feeling a little bit uptight? Or are you ready to go? I might be more nervous than she is. I don't know. We're going to find out now as we get this game underway. Here we go. Okay. Certainly don't want to put this one off. On the last show, I know you'll remember that you were in the middle of your fourth game. These are the categories we were playing with. Famous lovers, potluck pictures, the 70s, nursery rhymes about words, Great Britain, foreign writers, botany, and musicals. Here's what the board looked like at the conclusion of the last show. Tom had the center box with a big X. Upper right, Lila had the O. And in the pot, exactly $8,000. There are the categories. Let's shuffle, and Tom, we'll turn to you as our champion for the first pick in round two in this game. Wink, I think I'm going to go with potluck picks in the top center. Okay, potluck pictures. Here's your question, Tom. First, take a look at this picture. This popular singer is the youngest son of a famous television family. Name him. Ricky Nelson. Right. Or Rick Nelson. Go ahead and put an X there. Let's shuffle. $200 added to the pot now. Lila? I'm going to go to Great Britain to block. To block Tom, answer this question on Great Britain, Lila. The largest radio and television network in Great Britain was organized by the English government in 1927. This network is commonly referred to by its three initials. What are these three initials for a BBC. block? Oh, BBC. Yes. <laughs> The British Broadcasting Corporation. So we put it over there. You block Tom, cut him off there. Let's move the categories again. We've added 200 to the pot. It's up to $8,400, Tom. Wink, I think I'm going to go with Great Britain in the lower right. All right, again in the category Great Britain. Tom, the Conservative Party is one of the two chief political parties in Britain today. Name the other. The Labour Party. Yes, that's right. An X in the box Great Britain takes us to... Shuffle time with four boxes left. In the pot, $8,600. Lila? I'm going to go to foreign writers in the upper left-hand corner to block. All right. To block him diagonally, Lila, answer this. The famous playwright George Bernard Shaw and the noted author James Joyce were both born in the capital city of a European country. For a block, name the city. Uh, Belfast. No, Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. $8,600 remaining in the pot. Still four boxes on the board. To find out what categories he's going to have to select from, let's shuffle. Wink, I'm going to go with potluck picks for the win. You're going to not put this off any longer, huh? I can't he's, afford to. <laughs> he's going to try to win with the correct answer to the question in the category potluck pictures. Tom, if you answer the question, you will win $8,800 in cash. Added to your prior winnings, that would bring your grand total to $104,650 in cash and prizes. Tom, take a look at this picture. Now, for tic tac toe and a total of $104,650, give me the last name of the woman whose portrait appears on this dollar coin. Anthony. Right for tic tac toe. Sue 
Susan B. Anthony Dollar. So, Tom, congratulations to you. That uh, adds, what, $8,800 to your total and puts you over that century mark. You are into that category now that not too many on Tic-Tac-Toe over the years have reached. And you're in that select circle. $104,650. What's your reaction to all of this now? Holy cow, how's that? <laughs> I'll tell you what his reaction is. I'm speechless. First time I've seen you speechless, Tom. Oh. Congratulations. Lila, you sure gave him a good run for his money. He really, he earned that, didn't he? You made him earn that. <laughs> But uh, you played some tie games, three of them, so you got $250 for each one of those, which entitles you to a check from Tic-Tac-Toe for $750. Okay. And thank you for giving us some very, very exciting games, Lyle. Thank you for having me. Good Thanks luck. Thank you. We're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll kick Tom against the dragon. We'll be right back. Now back to Tic-Tac and Tom, Game Show Network's celebration of the American dream. Let me take just a moment, Tom, to say again, congratulations. Uh, so far, you've won two very special prizes because, as you know, uh, every time you defeat five opponents, you get one of those special goodies. You've won two so far. Defeat three more opponents for a total of 15 and win number three. Bob Hilton, tell him what it is. It's a brand new car. New century two-door coupe, a mid-sized personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior and classic exterior. The century two-door coupe by Buick. In addition, Great Reflections gives your car the 2020 shine. A shine so deep down clear, it's a perfect vision. Great Reflections from DuPont. Once again, here's Wink. Tom, I remember asking you something uh, early on as a, as, a, as a champion on Tic-Tac-Toe, and that is, what are you going to do with some of this money uh, that you've won? I think at that time, you'd won like $36,000 in cash, and you were looking forward to some way or other buying a house. You still are going to take some of the money and, and put it into a new home? Some of it, yeah. How about some of the other money now? You've got a lot of, <clears throat> lot of cash accumulated. Wink, with the price of houses out here, I think it's going to have to be all of it. <laughs> yeah, that, what you don't give to interest, why you'll uh, put on the principal. Yep. Well, Tom, again, it's time for you to go up against the dragon. Let's take a look and see okay. what happens over here. Here we go. I tell you, 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 you knew after that was over that you had uh, been up against a, a, a battle. Oh, I was praying for potluck picks to come up in the space <laughs> up there. Behind these numbers are various amounts of money. And, of course, in the center there, the dragon. We don't know where he's going to show up a little later because we never can tell. He's devious dragon. All you have to do is reach $1,000 or more and you win the prize package. Now, we got a, a whole prize package designed to appeal to your senses. And here's Bob Hilton to tell you what I'm talking about, Robert. Your first gift, Tom, will appeal to your sense of sight. It's this deluxe movie projector. The Umig RS3000 sound projector with built-in 15-inch screen or used for wall projection. The Umig RS3000, the projector of tomorrow, today. And your next gift will appeal to your sense of hearing. We're giving you a new stereo. It's all here in one compact system. Ace Hardware's cassette tape recorder, AM FM stereo receiver, and automatic turntable furnished by Ace Hardware. And to appeal to your sense of touch, it's these luxurious satin sheets and comforter. From classic formal to unique contemporary, nobody brings the total look in satin bed dressing together like Whisper Soft Mills. Creative new decorator looks in super satin. That's why we say if you haven't seen us lately, you haven't seen the future. And finally, Tom, we're going to satisfy your sense of taste. We're giving you $200 to spend on a gourmet meal as you enjoy the cuisine of fantastic Paris, France. You'll play with many Paris, France. We will visit the Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum. You'll have 15 fantastic days, compliments of tic-tac-toe. This census package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,900. Avoid the dragon or you lose it all. Get the ticket attack for an automatic win. Now let's cover them up, move them all around on the board. You ever been to Paris? No, I haven't. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, I think I'd enjoy that. Yeah, I think your wife kind of lit up too when she saw or heard Paris, France. Take a look at the board. There are nine numbers. What's going to be the beginning spot for you? And of course, Jenny's out there to help you. As always. Jenny? Jenny, what do you think? Four. Huh? Number four? Okay. What's behind number four? Let's look, take a look. Quick C and it's attacked. One more call if it would be ticked to give you an automatic win. Let's go back to it. Jenny says number one, and let's look behind number one. Maybe we can end this right here. No, we ended it, but that's not the end we had in mind, is it? No, it's not. Uh, 
She can't be right all the time. That's right. Bless her heart. Listen, she's pretty, so that makes up for a lot of errors like I'll that for, in, I'll the, forgive in the number calling department. Let's look at the rest of the board. You got lucky there with Tack right at the outset. Tick was right over here behind number six. Would have given you an automatic win. So there you see the rest of the board and the different denominations of money were indeed there. Your grand total, though, looks awfully good, doesn't it? I, yeah, I like that. And remember how many opponents you need to beat for that third car? Remember what I told you? I think three more. Three, right? you yeah, three more and you'll have a third car. But now your grand total in cash and merchandise is $104,650, of which approximately $74,000 is in cash. <laughs> Not too shabby. Let's get a game underway. Congratulations. Here we go again. Okay, Bob Milker, who do we have to take him on? She's a corporate attorney whose interests include bicycling, tennis, and sailing. Meet Ann Group. Bicycling, nice. Tennis, nice. But tell me about your sailing, Ann. Well, I spent uh, two years going down the Pacific Coast, through the Caribbean, through the Panama Canal, around the Caribbean. And uh, now I'm a member of a racing crew at Marina Del Rey. A racing what? Crew. A racing How do the races work? What? Well, you have a set of markers, and you try to get around those markers in the fastest amount of time using the uh, winds and the sails and the currents to help you do that. And you always win, of course. We try. <laughs> All right, and welcome. We have set our sails for the next game of Tic-Tac-Toe, and here we go. The subjects for your game with Tom are second jobs, our capital, movies, the 30s, boxing, foods, bearded men, aquatic biology, and funny ladies. Tom, if you're ready, we're ready. Let's go with boxing in the center. He usually starts with that center box. Been lucky with that one, too. Tom, on boxing, <clears throat> in the mid-1860s, this marquee and sportsman devised a set of rules for boxing. These rules bear his royal title and continue to be used throughout the world today. First, I want you to name the marquee and then name his native country, and I'll give you a few seconds to dwell on that. <laughs> The sportsman who devised a set of rules for boxing. Name the marquee. Queensbury. Right. And how about his native country? If it's a marquee, I'm going to say France. No, England. Dang. Great Britain. Ah, England. So, all nine boxes still up there. All the subjects are there. Let's shuffle and move over to <laughs> Anne for the first time. Anne Group. A very favorite subject, foods in the middle wing. All right, she's going to go for that center box on foods. And a grocer will stock fruits in many different varieties. I'll describe several such varieties, and you name the type of fruit. One, name the fruit whose varieties include cassavas and honeydews. Then, secondly, name the fruit whose varieties include clingstone sims and freestone albertas. Think about that for a few seconds. <laughs> Talking about varieties of fruit, you name the type of fruit. And name the fruit whose varieties include cassavas and honeydews. That would be melons. Yes. Name the fruit whose varieties include clingstone sims and freestone albertas. Those would be peaches. Yes. You got the center box. Let it go there. $300 deposit. We're underway now with a new game and let's shuffle. Back to Tom McKee. Wink, uh, I missed it once, but I'm going to go with... Uh... I'm going to go with boxing in the upper left again. All right. Did you ever do any boxing, Tom? Not successfully. Fighting, yes. Boxing, no. On November 30th, 1979, a fighter nicknamed Sugar Ray scored a TKO over Wilfred <clears throat> Bennett's and became the welterweight champion of the world. Wait, what? That's Benitez. I beg your pardon. All right. I want to repeat the question. On November 30th, 1979, a fighter nicknamed Sugar Ray scored a TKO over Wilfred Benitez. Benitez. Benitez, and became the welterweight champion of the world. What is Sugar Ray's last name? Leonard. Right, Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> so we put an extra and shuffle the categories around $500 in the pot. And? I think I will go with movies, Wink, in the top right. Okay, movies. Question, and take a look at this picture. This Academy Award-winning film told of the exploits of a legendary British officer. Name this film. That would be Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, that's right. Put it over there. Seven hundred dollars in the pot. Now we're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll be right back to continue. Some of our departing contestants will receive Dentine chewing gum. While you're chewing Dentine, it freshens your breath as effectively as mouthwash. Brush your breath with Dentine. 
An HR Rug and Room Deodorizer, the right way to freshen your rug and room, available at your supermarket, HR Carpet Care Center. Also, Arm & Hammer Baking Soda costs less than gadget deodorizers, so get two. One to deodorize the refrigerator, one for the freezer. Once again, here's Wink. Okay, Bob, let's look at the board once again. Feast our eyes on these subjects as we shuffle. $700 <laughs> in the pot, and Tom, your turn again. Wink, it's got to be movies in the lower left. For a block, movies. Take a look at this picture, Tom. This is a scene from a critically acclaimed movie musical. For a block, name it. All That Jazz. Yes, that's right. Bob Fosse's All That Jazz. So he put an X there for a block and shuffle again with $900 in the game now, Annie. Uh, well, Wink, it's been a good category. Let's go with movies again. Movies, the category, and this is the question. Take a look at this picture, Anne. This poster advertised a popular 1980 movie which told the story of a man torn between the woman he loves and the food he loves. Name the movie. Fatso. Yes, that's right. Fatso. So an O goes in the box called Movies. Four boxes left on the board. $1,100 in the game now as we move the categories around. Tom. Oh, boy, Wink. I have no choice but to go for boxing for the win. Boxing. All right. Tom, here is your question. If you answer correctly, you'll pick up $1,300 in cash. Added to your prior winnings, your grand total would come to $105,950. In 1973, this American boxer took the heavyweight crown away from Joe Frazier. In 1974, he lost it to Muhammad Ali. For a total of $105,950, name him. George Foreman. Yes, you win again. <laughs> well, Tom, thanks to, I think, a tactical error by Ann, and, of course, to uh, your skill at playing our game and answering questions, you are now up to $105,950 in cash and merchandise. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And now tell us. Tell us what happened. You just didn't see that? I just, I was so concerned with getting my zeros there, I just didn't see that. Um, I've heard so many times I when know. I'll go out and I'll make an appearance, you know, regarding this show where people come up and say, you know, that's so easy to do. And it is so much easier at home, you know, because you, you stand back and you look. But when you're standing up here as a contestant, like you, you know, yeah. you're playing the game so well, and yet you didn't see that. It just passed you right yes, by. Yes, it certainly did. And, uh, you know, we congratulate Tom for picking up. Well, and we still have a couple of very nice prizes for you, and our thanks for being with us on Tic Tac Doe. Thank you. And group, everybody. Nice round of applause for her. All right, let's go see if we can beat the dragon again, Tom. Come on over here. Got a little help that time. <laughs> yes, in that order, perhaps. Strategy, skill, and luck. Dragon's going to be seen jumping all over the board. Remember, you are playing for a movie projector, a stereo, satin sheets, and a comforter, and that marvelous trip to Paris, France, in cash and prizes, just short of $4,000 worth. $3,900. There's the dragon. Stay away from him. We're going to see nine numbers, and we're going to go back out to your wife. Jenny, what is the beginning point this time for this gentleman up here? Number one? She's going to go with that one. he couldn't dare show up there twice in a row. Let's find out. Number one for Jenny and for Tom, the dragon. Can you believe that? That is hard to believe, but that has happened before. People say, no way. No way lightning or the dragon's going to strike twice in the same spot. But he did it. I guess I'm not meant to go to Paris, eh? I, I would say so at this point, the way things are going. Let's look at the rest of the board, though, to show you that, indeed, there was Tick up there and behind number two. Tack over here. That's where Tack was a while ago, I think, or vice versa. Anyway, Tick and Tack there behind two and six. There was the board. However, your total is still growing and growing and growing. Still at $105,950 in cash and merchandise. <laughs> I think so. Get back over there and let's see what happens this time. Boy, that was a quick package. Hey, Bob, who's next? He was born in Hong Kong, and he's now a dentist in Los Angeles. He enjoys sports and Scottish dancing. Meet Gordon Team.
Gordon, I gotta ask you how a dentist from Hong Kong got into Scottish dancing. Well, Wink, I used to go to the Highland Games and where they did all these Scottish dances, and I simply fell in love with it, so I went out, found a group who did them, and joined it. Scottish dancing is done in a group? Uh, that's right. We all get together in our traditional kilts, and we do these precision dances. It's kind of like a Scottish drill. Wouldn't it figure that a dentist would fit right in with any kind of drill? <laughs> Guess I struck a nerve with that one, huh? Something I can sink my teeth into. I got a feeling we better move on to a commercial. Help me out of this. Commercial, please, please. Stay tuned. Our Tic Tac and Tom celebration continues as Tom McKee wins more and more and more and more and more and more. And more. Gordon, when a man from Hong Kong walks out here and starts talking about my traditional Scottish kilts, we're in for a very, very <laughs> unusual and perhaps exciting game of Tic Tac Toe with this guy over here. Welcome to our show. Okay, Good you. luck. We'll get a game underway, I promise you, on the next show. Congratulations to you, Tom, once again with $105,950 in cash and merchandise. Will he be able to beat this guy, go on, win a third car, and who knows what? We'll find out on the next show. Bye-bye, everybody. Some of our departing contestants will receive the beautiful hair, the original balsam, Wella Balsam. It makes hair strong, shiny, and easy to comb. Wella Balsam, you can tell the difference. And Snowy Bleach, the strong off fabric bleach to get your clothes clean, bright, and fresh smelling. Remember, nothing works better than Snowy. Also, sensational tannery. Safely cleans conditions helps protect leather or vinyl shoes, boots, purses, furniture, car tops, interiors. Tannery helps them last longer. Plus, Raid Solid Insect Strip. Raid Solid Insect Killer weights in Atlas up to four months to kill bugs dead. And four gallons of super scrubbable True Test Easy Care Latex Flat Wall and Trim Finish for walls and woodwork at True Value Hardware Stores. Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack Berry and Dan and Wright production.